In this lesson, I want to give our animation a few final touches. So first of all, I want to add a glow effect. But instead coming in here and adding a glow effect to each of these layers, I want to use a so-called adjustment layer. The adjustment layer is a layer that we've never used in this course. So how can I create an adjustment layer and what is an adjustment layer? To create an adjustment layer, select our composition and then go to layer and select new and then you can choose adjustment layer. You see that the shortcut is Ctrl, Alt and Y. If I create an adjustment layer, After Effects will create a new layer on top of my composition. You see that nothing changed here and you can see that this adjustment layer has this little icon here activated. If you cannot see these settings, you can toggle these with pressing F4 on your keyboard. And you see that this is the adjustment layer switch. So you can turn any layer into an adjustment layer. The function of adjustment layers is the following. If you apply an effect to the adjustment layer, this effect will affect all the layers that are below this adjustment layer. So let's apply a glow effect to our adjustment layer. But first of all, let's rename this adjustment layer by pressing enter on our keyboard and let's type in glow. Now let's come over to our effect and presets panel here, type in glow here. And you see that in the stylized tab, we can select this glow effect and drag it on our glow layer, on our glow adjustment layer. You see immediately what this does. It creates a not so cool looking glow effect. So we have to come in here and change a few settings. First of all, what I want to do is I want to increase the glow radius and I want to make this quite big. So let's set this to about 200. And you see now it looks a little bit better. We get this a uh, little bit of a diffuse glow now and everything looks a little bit glowish. And actually I like this. Now what I can do is I can change the glow threshold. The lower you turn the glow threshold, the more will glow. You see, if I turn this down, then nearly everything will glow and this creates a really harsh effect. So we do not want this. What we want is we want a certain level of glowing. If I turn this up, you see that only really, really bright areas here, for example, the text, the main title, for example, is, is glowing, but everything else is not glowing anymore. So if you set this to 100, nothing will glow. And if I turn this down now, now I can choose how much glow I want in my scene. Something like 50% is a good value. So let's type in 50%. Now you could also change the glow intensity to make this more obvious or to make this a little bit more subtle. You can turn it down. The standard setting is one. I think I want to set it to about 0 0.8. So the other settings are not that interesting for us now. What you could do, for example, you could choose or you could specify some glow colors. The standard setting here is original colors. That means that the colors from our projects are featured. If I change this to A and B colors, you see now I get a black and white glow and I can specify colors right here that will affect our glow. But in most of the cases, I do not use this option. I just use the original colors. So let's change this back to original colors. And now we do not have to change anything else. So I'm happy with the glow. If you want to see the difference with the effect applied and the effect turned off, you can come up here and can press this little FX button here. This will disable the effect. So you see now this is our original composition without the effect. And this is our composition with the effect. So you see that this looks quite a bit better, I think. So as a next step, let's add another adjustment layer. Let's press Ctrl, Alt and Y to create a new adjustment layer. Let's select it. Let's press Enter on our keyboard and let's name this color correction. Now I just want to do a very simple color correction by using a curves effect. So let's come in here and let's type in here curves. And you see under the color correction tab, we have this curves effect selected and drag it on our color correction adjustment layer. With these RGB curves, you can affect either the luminance channel or you can also affect all the separate channels. We will take a look at this in a moment. For example, if I choose RGB here and if I click into this line here and create a point here, then you see After Effects creates this little point. And now I can click and drag 
and this will increase the luminance values, the brightness values in my composition. You see that everything gets brighter now. And if I add another point down here and click and drag this, then I could decrease the dark areas. So this is a way how you can add a little bit more contrast uh, to your layouts. So if I check the difference here, let's press this little effects button. This is without the color correction and this is with the color correction. You see that it's a little bit sharper, a little bit more contrast, a little bit more crisp. If I now change, for example, to the blue channel here and I create a point in the middle here and just click and drag, then I could increase the overall blue values and give our animation a bluish tint which also looks quite cool. If I drag this below this line here, then you see that the blue colors or the blue values are reduced and everything gets this little bit of a reddish greenish touch here. So depending on what you want to achieve, this is an effect where you can get a really fast color correction result. So in my case, I want to push or increase the blue values a little bit like so. And now you could come in here and you could change, for example, just reduce the red values by clicking into the middle here and dragging, but this has not that much of an effect. But I could also shift this point here up here and say I want to increase the red values in the bright areas, but I want to decrease the red values in the dark areas. And this is how you can create pretty interesting looks only by using one effect, very simple effect, the curves effect. If you want to reset one of these lines, in my case, I am now in the red channel, I can come in here and click reset, then this line will get reset. Okay, now let's save our file. I come up here to file and I create a new increment. And now let's create a new RAM preview by pressing spacebar. Let's take a look at our animation. And I would say that our animation is finished now, but because I also want to introduce you to daily problems in the work life of a motion designer, of course, our fictional client is not satisfied with this animation and has some changes. And we will take a look at this in the next video.